two, three. Loud round of applause. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Neil Lopez. He was just recently featured on the cover of Florida Realtor Magazine. I'm the broker owner of World Renowned Real Estate. International luxury business. How many of you want to work with affluent international agents? How do you get beyond the velvet rope? The question is, can I do it? I'm not the source, I'm the source of the source. 65% of my business is with affluent and international clientele. What, do the, what does the luxury or what does the affluent clientele want? In our industry, it is not good enough to be different. We have to focus on being better. Do you guys agree? The source, I'm the source of the source. Right here, I can reach out to thousands of agents who might have one, two, or three buyers. Now guess what? I've become their resource. The ability to establish credibility with the desired demographic. It assures the clients that you speak with and that you're working with that you speak their language. But how difficult is for me, someone who only speaks English and Alabamanese, to speak to or to communicate or to get a Chinese buyer? There are very few things that I leave up to chance. So when you're thinking about the T-pop or the target population that you're going to target, make sure that you start with the end in mind. Access to valuable, accurate information. Decisions that you guys make as agents on a daily basis can either set generations up for years to come or destroy those generations. Lives are ruined, businesses are ruined because of inaccurate information. Okay, not only do I market to Miami, not only do I market to Broward, I market to 47 other countries. I am not just different, I'm better than the competition. What does the CIPS designation mean? Certified International Property Specialist, the CIPS. It is the only international designation that's recognized by the National Association of Realtors. This is how you would be able to have access to international agents. It allows you the opportunity to market your business to the world, and then it promotes you as a global resource to the world. We as the United States, we, have the, we are the lowest context culture in the entire world, which means pretty much we'll give our money to anyone without a relationship. In other countries, it's not like that. So how do we leverage, how do we get those buyers, those international or affluent clientele? What we do is we contact, we make relationships with the people they already have relationships with. So I don't go after, even though 65% of my business is international, I don't go after the international buyer. What I do is I go after the agent who already has a relationship with that buyer. You leverage the relationships that you guys have in this room. How many of you guys here started real estate or got into real estate to do rentals for the duration of your career or to work with $125,000 clients? Neither did I.